Oh. Oh, man. What's the horizon, Ben? What's the horizon? It's not helping. Seasickness. It sucks. I've been seasick, and there's other times where I'm not seasick. Why? Why some days I'm seasick and other days not? It's because there's an enzyme for that. Histamine. Histamine is known to be related to seasickness. There's been a lot of research in this area, and a quick fact of the day, possibly for you, that you can walk around telling everybody, pigs don't get seasick. What? Pigs don't get seasick? Who cares? You don't see pigs out there on naval boats fighting wars and getting seasick? Well, you don't see them getting seasick, and that's because they have an enzyme in their gut that produces a, a compound that gets rid of histamine very, very well. In fact, we've isolated that specific enzyme and we've put it in capsules and people are taking that and it comes from pigs. So you take this enzyme to reduce the histamine from your food and you do really well. You reduce your ability to, that causes headaches and leaky gut and so on and it also reduces seasickness. Now lions and tigers also don't get seasick. Why? Because they also have this ability to degrade histamine in the gut. So what is that telling you? There's an enzyme for that, right? DAO is the enzyme. DAO is diamine oxidase, and it breaks the histamine down and gets it out of the system. So, there's a genetic polymorphism that's out there that's very prevalent. I have it. I have this enzyme which reduces my ability to break down histamine from food. What do sailors typically eat? They ate foods that were very shelf stable. Wine, cheese, sausage. High histamine, high histamine, high histamine. Seasickness. Bad food for a sailor or someone to eat while they're on a sailboat or a motor yacht or whatever. So don't eat high histamine containing foods and recommend your patient to be supporting the methylation cycle because the methylation cycle also gets rid of histamine. Histamine and methyl transferase is what supports the degradation of a histamine as well. So there is genetic issues in the methylation cycle. As we all know, MTHFR is a big one. So if you have MTHFR, your histamine levels or your patient's histamine levels are more prone to be elevated. I have that as well. No wonder I get seasick. Not anymore. Thank you. Whoa, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot about this. ShyCon 2015, have you heard about it? You just enjoyed this video, I hope. You're excited about it. This information is very clinically relevant to you and your patients. ShyCon 2015 is an upcoming conference in October that you can't miss. There's 400 like-minded people like me, like yourself, that want to know more about how to optimize the health of your patients. You have four days of it. You have 400 doctors who are wanting to get more information on this and do what they need to do and transform medicine and transform the health of your patient and transform your practice. ShyCon 2015, you can do it. Learn more at seekinghealth.org. Thank you.